Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at the Carpe Noctum deck from Chris Ramsey, Oban Jones, and Illusionist.com. What is Carpe Noctum? Uh, Carpe Noctum is uh, Seize the Night, okay? It's Latin for Seize the Night. This is Chris Ramsey's sophomore debut from his previous Memento Mori deck that he also released with Illusionist.com. Uh, the theme behind this, uh, Carpe Noctum, is a celebration of a flower that blooms at night. So pretty much doesn't bloom for anybody. Nobody sees it. Um, so it's inspired by the night blooming Cereus. It's one of the strangest and most beautiful plants in the desert. The Carpe Noctum deck uh, is supposed to unveil the beauty of that flower uh, and it's surrounded by darkness. So once per year on a warm midsummer's night, this unassuming flower blossoms with exquisite beauty and then wilt away with the morning sun. So the tuck case on this is all uh, kind of a gloss black and you can see it wraps all the way around the tuck case as well as uh, the flower. The flower uh, itself is embossed and you can see it only has just a few colors there, the yellow, uh, the purple, and the like soft pink. The bottom of the tuck case just simply has some ad copy about Illusionist. This side says Carpe Noctum, but you can barely see it, it's in an embossed. Uh, the top is completely blank. The tuck flap says Chris Ramsey and Open Jones. And also on the back side, there's a little emboss of a uh, all-seeing eye in a triangle. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they come on their retail stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion emboss. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. All right, so people always ask how these cards feel, how they handle. Uh, I can't really tell you how they handle because that's a subjective opinion, but I can tell you how thick they are. When I measure 10 cards with a caliper, okay, it comes out to 2.95. Now, that is kind of interesting because previously, Memento Mori was a 2.79, and so the Crush stock definitely feels very thin. Uh, coming in at 2.95, uh, this does not feel like the Crush stock. So if you're expecting the same type of stock as Memento Mori, you're not gonna get it. So uh, these feel more like uh, the Green Gator Backs or the MailChimp deck or the Royal Pulp deck. The back design on this looks like it was dipped in black ink. You have a nice big thick white poker border and then you have that night blooming Cereus uh, as a mirrored image in both corners. Now, some people have pointed out that this is not a true two-way back design. There is a little bit of a color discrepancy between the top flower and the bottom. Uh, I haven't really heard if it was intentional or not, but it does make for a, a good way to do a magic trick with one-way back design. With this deck, you're gonna get two original jokers. Uh, the fronts are full bleed black, uh, so it's a little bit of a difference between the white borders on the other side. Um, it is a floating moth against a field of blackness and it does say Carpe Noctum, and each Joker has its own original card reveal. With this deck, you're also gonna get an ad card um, that talks a little bit about the Carpe Noctum deck and the theme behind it, and on the back side, there's a little bit of copy about the Night Blooming Cereus. Your, your Ace of Spades is very simple. It says Carpe at the top, Noctum at the bottom. Uh, there's a large exploded uh, pip there in the center with the Night Blooming Cereus in the center of that. Also with this deck, you're gonna get one gaff card. It's a morphing card that's transitioning between a four of spades and a queen of hearts. Another one of the hidden gems within this deck, the king of spades has a card reveal in his sword. With this deck, you're also gonna get completely standard courts. So between the court cards and pips and indices, all your face cards are gonna be completely uh, recognizable and perfect for gameplay as well as magic. All right, so that is my review for the Carpe Noctum deck from Chris Ramsey, Open Jones, and Illusionist.com. As always, I want to thank RarePlayingCards.com for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you. And if you want to purchase this deck for yourself, you can find it at RarePlayingCards.com in the link below. Thanks. Bye.